Welcome back to Google Guru. Uh, today I want to touch on a huge update to Google, Google Apps and that's Google Drive. Um, this video is going to be a little bit longer than my normal video so if you need to pause it and go pop some popcorn uh, don't be afraid to do that. Um, this will probably be about five minutes. So first I'll take you through um, how you download it, how you set it up, um, and then what some of the changes are in terms of organization and how Drive syncs from your desktop to drive on the web to potentially another desktop and then also some of the new features that drive has introduced so I've already um, opted in, into drive and set it up but all you need to do is just from within the docs view go to settings and you should have an option here that says return to drive um, or opt in to drive or something like that all you do is just click that and you'll get a notification right here in the middle of the screen that says download drive for my PC or for my Mac go ahead and download that. Once you download, you'll be prompted to log in with the Google account that you wish to use. Um, important note, Drive only works with one Google account at a time. You can use multiple Google accounts, but you have to disconnect and connect them manually. So you'll have to log in with the Google account you want to use, and then select the folder where you want to sync all your files. So you'll basically, you'll be picking one folder on your desktop, and it has to be an empty folder to start out with and then you'll just drag in all the files from your desktop that you want to sync up to Drive and all your files that are already in your Drive on the web will be synced down to your desktop. You'll see um, or this little icon in the um, system tray on the bottom right in Windows and it says sync complete right now. So I'll right click on this and you can see I can open the folder, I can manage the syncing, it'll, be, it'll show progress if it's um, in the middle of a sync and then Visit Drive on the web, view items shared with me, pretty standard, and look at your storage. Of course, they're going to give you an option to buy more storage as well. Here's my folder. You can see the check marks um, on these little icons. That means that the file has been successfully synced. You know, these icons, they don't look like your normal uh, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel icons, and that's because they're specifically for a Google Docs file. So this is a Google Docs spreadsheet that's been synced down. That's really about it. Anytime you drag something into this folder, it'll be synced up to Google Drive on the web pretty much automatically. Um, from what I can tell, this kind of this sync is as long as you have an internet connection, it's happening pretty much constantly. Once you have all of that set up, you're pretty much ready to go. And uh, the next thing I want to talk about is organization from within uh, Drive on the web. So the left-hand menu has changed a little bit from Google Docs. You can see my Drive. Everything under My Drive is what's going to sync to um, the folder on your desktop through Google Drive. Anything that's not in this in this My Drive folder is not going to sync down. That's something that Google has been very clear about. And so, if someone shares something with you, it's not automatically going to sync to your drive. So you have another view called Shared with Me. So these are files that have been shared with me and are not synced to my computer currently. All you have to do if you want to add it to your drive and then get it uh, going on the sync, select that and then click add to my drive. It's that easy. And now it says my drive, so you know it's being synced down. Then you also have starred, which is, um, I don't have any starred <laughs> docs files or folders right now, but um, that's the same as it was in Google Docs. Okay, so the other two important ones to talk about are recent and activity. Recent is um, anything that you have recently opened or edited. So this is sort in a chron chronological order based on what I have most recently opened or edited. Activity is anything that you're shared on that's been opened or edited by anyone. Um, so, you know, if I'm collaborating with someone on a document and they just made a change, it's going to float up to the top of my list in activity, but not under recent. That's the important distinction there. You have this link to download Google Drive at the bottom left in case uh, in case you didn't get the notification um, initially it should always be there and then you can sort by owner type and more this is basically just a link to the advanced search function there so now let's talk about different ways to view your file list um, we'll go into the marketing materials folder here now you have the standard line item view um, that it has existed in Google Docs for quite a while now and then you also have a grid look, which is going to allow you to star and select, and then 
after that select, you can pretty much do everything that you can do from within the doc. Um, you can share email collabor collaborators, email as an attachment, and trash it. You can also right click to do all those same things. But there's a new view in Google Drive that I think most people haven't actually seen this yet, so I um, hope you all enjoy this. And that is when you click on the arrow next to a folder, you have a link called Open Folder. So this is a totally different way to look at your docs. Um, you have two options for opening files. You can open this little arrow to the top right if you want to open it in a new tab, or you can simply click on the file and it's going to open in the window, which is really cool. Let's try another one here. So there's a spreadsheet for you. And you can actually go in and make edits in this view. It's great. It's it's a to totally new thing um, for docs. And from within here, you can add new documents, presentations, spreadsheets. You can upload. You can do all kinds of stuff from in here. It's, it's, uh, it's a very cool new view. So last but not least, Google Drive has introduced some new functionality into Google Docs. I can't stop calling it Google Docs, but it's really Google Drive. <laughs> and um, you can see right here these two items. Lucid Chart and Smartsheet. You might be thinking, how did those get in to my drive? Well, if, if you're not familiar with Lucid Chart and Smartsheet, uh, Lucid Chart is a web-based diagramming tool, and Smartsheet is kind of like uh, Google Spreadsheets on steroids. And I really like both of these products, so I, I thought I'd use them for this demo here. So when Drive launched, um, they were collaborating with uh, 20 software providers, mostly people that are in the Google Apps Marketplace. And they were working with these people to provide Chrome extensions to get their files, their sort of web files, into Docs. So I've installed the Lucidchart and Smartsheet Chrome extensions. You can see this when I open up a new tab. They're right here. And so what that allows me to do is it brings my Smartsheets and my Lucidcharts into Drive so I can organize them into my existing folders and even sync them down to my computer. And it also allows me to create a lucid chart and smart sheet from within Google Drive, which is just very convenient. You go to create, then more, and you have these two options. So when Drive launched, there were 20 partners for this kind of integration. I think they've added maybe 10 since then. So you find these in the Chrome Web Store. Let's go find one real quick. Look up smart sheet, and then there should be a little link here. It works with Google Drive. And so here are all of the apps that are working with Google Drive. DocuSign is a cool one. Uh, you know, there's a lot of good stuff in here. I encourage you to check it out. Um, that's about it. There's obviously a lot to cover with Google Drive. I'm sure I missed some stuff. Um, so please let me know in the comments or, or uh, send us a note on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, or even email me, guru at guruvideos.com. Um, I look forward to hearing your feedback. Hopefully this was helpful. Thanks.